What is ascites and how to get rid of ascites in the abdomen? Whenever there is an increase in the amount of fluid in the peritoneal cavity of the abdomen, then the person is having ascites in the abdomen. Usually, it is more than 25 ml of the fluid that builds up in the abdomen. There are a number of reasons that result in the accumulation of fluid in the abdomen. In most of the cases, it is because of liver disease when the liver is not able to produce enough protein to retain the fluid in the bloodstream. Then there is a decrease in the total protein of the body and the water begins to leak in the tissues surrounding it. As a result of liver failure or when the liver is not making enough protein to maintain the pressure so that the fluid keeps on the flowing in the circulatory system, then you are likely to get ascites. Once you get ascites, then many people ask how to get rid of ascites in the abdomen which is not easy. So, you need to be very careful about the health of your liver, otherwise you will get serious liver disease and one of them is ascites. What are the common causes of ascites? We have already discussed that when the liver is not able to produce enough protein or when a person suffering from cirrhosis, then he suffers from ascites. However, there are some other causes too such as cancer, ovary disease and underreactive thyroid, heart failure and others. If a person is suffering from cirrhosis, a condition in which the flow of blood in the liver gets blocked, then he is under a serious risk of developing ascites. How do I know if I have ascites? If you notice a rapid gain in your weight or there is swelling in your legs and ankles, then you need to take it seriously. People who have ascites normally complain of having a feeling of fullness, bloating, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, swelling of the belly and others. If you have these similar symptoms, then you might be suffering from ascites. What is the treatment of ascites? The doctors diagnose ascites through physical examination, CBC, ultrasound or CT scan. And then the doctors remove the fluid from your abdomen for test samples and this entire procedure is known as paracentesis. After the test, the doctor prescribes medicines to the patient. These medicines are diuretics that help to flush out the extra fluid from the body. When you see no improvement after using medicines, then the final treatment is a surgery of your liver in which shunt is implanted in the body that diverts the flow of blood around the liver or you get a liver transplant. Lifestyle changes to manage ascites. A person suffering from ascites is advised to limit the amount of salt intake in the diet. A low sodium diet is very helpful in this regard. You need to limit the intake of fluids and the most important factor is to stop the consumption of the alcohol. If you are a smoker, then you need to quit smoking because it will cause more harm to you. Although ascites is not cured in this way, but the complication can be decreased to a great deal. For most of the people, ascites is a life-threatening disease that is caused by cirrhosis and if you drink alcohol in excess, then there are high chances that this disease becomes fatal for you. Anyways, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Always stay tuned and subscribe to our channel by hitting the bell icon to see our latest videos. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Have a nice day.